Shovel Knight is an action platformer that puts you in the shoes of the eponymous hero, as he goes on a quest to rescue his longtime friend, Shield Knight. As the name would suggest, the main character is a knight that wields a shovel as a weapon. Shovel Knight heavily borrows elements from various classic NES titles, such as the Mega Man series, Castlevania, and DuckTales. Despite this, the game creates an entirely unique experience, without feeling like it was simply designed to emulate a retro design. The Blue Burrower has two ways to attack with a shovel. As one might expect, you can simply walk up to a target and smack them, but you can also pogo on their heads in the same style as DuckTales. Early on, you also get access to items known as relics, which require magic points to use. These are basically a series of sub-weapons, each with a unique role within the game. While some are elementary in design, like the Flare Wand which shoots at a ball of fire in front of you, others like the Dust Knuckles allow you to punch through dirt blocks and reach otherwise inaccessible locations. As one might expect, wielding a shovel also allows you to dig up various piles of rocks found throughout the game, which will contain gold. Gold is used as the game's currency, and can be used to purchase relics, health, mana and shovel upgrades, as well as new armors. Each main stage is themed around its boss, similar to the classic Mega Man titles. Spectre Knight's level will have you traversing a haunted graveyard, while Propeller Knight's is centered around a massive airship. Aside from the theming, each level is designed completely differently, with its own mechanics that get progressively harder as you journey throughout the stage. In Shovel Knight, there are a myriad of secrets to be found. Many are telegraphed with textures in the walls that stand out, while others are much more under wraps. Discovering these hidden walls will reward you with a large sum of gold most of the time, while more rarely you will come across relics for purchase. On top of these, music sheets are also spread throughout the world, which can be sold to a bard for gold. Once the bard has a music sheet, Shovel Knight can ask him to play a corresponding song. And the music in Shovel Knight is absolutely amazing, with each track fitting to its stages so well. One of the most important things in a platformer are solid controls, and Shovel Knight does an amazing job with making sure you are always in control. When you die, there is no one to blame but yourself. The game can be challenging, but thankfully death isn't too harsh. Checkpoints and levels are frequent, and you have an infinite amount of lives. The penalty for dying is similar to that of the Soul series. You lose a portion of your gold, but are able to retrieve it should you make it back to your location of demise. For the more risky players, checkpoints can be broken to receive more money, with the downside of obviously losing access to that checkpoint. Throughout the game, you will find a large cast of unique and sometimes hilarious characters, like a frog with really bad puns a knight that boasts about how many maidens he has saved, and a man preaching about the Tropel King, a half-trout, half-apple deity. These personalities help to create a diverse and interesting world for Shovel Knight. After completing the game, you will be given the option to move to New Game Plus. As in most games with this feature, New Game Plus allows you to play through the game from the start with all of your equipment from your first run. On top of this, all damage you take is doubled, and there are much less checkpoints to be found throughout levels. Everything else, however, is identical. This motive would have been much more enjoyable if enemy placement was altered to make the experience more difficult, and it really feels like a missed opportunity. Another fun feature found in Shovel Knight, one that has been gone from gaming for a while now, cheat codes. And there are a huge amount of them, 320 to be exact. While some are simply cosmetic, like changing the color of your armor, others will make you go at insane levels of speed and increase the size of Shovel Knight by four times. It is awesome that the developers decided to put in such a large amount of cheat codes for players to mess around with. Shovel Knight is an awesome game and is a must for any fan of 2D platformers. It will bring back memories and create new ones as an instant classic. The game is highly replayable and has free updates on the way. Most importantly, it is just tons of fun, so don't miss out on this masterpiece.